Yo, so so I just made a video, right? And I and, and something just came across my mind again when I mentioned niggas being broke, right? And, and it ain't just me mentioning other niggas, because it's times I'm broke, right? A nigga might be broke right now. But look, what I'm trying to say is, I don't know if it's wrong or right when you go broke and then you start calling niggas for money that they owe you, right? I don't know if y'all did that shit before, but I, I, I won't ask for the fucking money because I look at that as I'm seeing where you at morally. I, don't, I may not give a fuck. It's 100, 2, 3, 4, 5. I may not give a fuck. If, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of times niggas don't really ask for money sometimes. They just be around you talking that shit. And you may have it. And you may be like, yo, I got you, cuz. Give it to me when you got it. Or I got you, blood. Give it to me when you got it. And... So they didn't really ask, so you can't knock them, but you giving it out because you you that type of nigga and you hoping that type of shit come back to you, but you expecting it to come back from the niggas you give, though. So it come back in other ways. God give it to you other ways, but it can, if you're not, you not mentally aware, you'll be holding them accountable like, nigga, I gave you that bread. You still ain't give me nothing, but a nigga like me don't ask for the money, right? I go about my day, but one flaw I have, and I don't know if it's a flaw, y'all can tell me, but... When I'm low on funds or I need shit or I got to pay some shit, I start to look around like, well, he owe me 300, he owe me one, he owe me four. Nigga, I start to feel some type of way. I start hitting niggas up like, yo. So I don't know if it's wrong and I'm just paying and I'm just like, oh, if it's because it's my money, motherfucker. But it does that like my character is like, I ain't saying shit. I ain't need it right now. I ain't say shit, but you really didn't give me a dime. But now I'm saying something. Nigga, I need some bread and niggas energy don't be the same. So it'd be like, but it's like some niggas are just not givers. You may be a giver in niggas' lives and they may be a receiver. And that don't make them wrong, right? That don't make them wrong. But shit, it don't make me wrong to ask for the money, right? And you let the universe decide if a nigga going to give it to you or not. Because it's times I be giving out shit. Niggas be owing me bread. Niggas say they going to give it to me. They don't give it to you. You don't, you don't get the shit in months. You don't say nothing. But then you go broke or you need that shit real quick. You like, yo, hold up. That nigga owe me 500 or or this or that. And then all of a sudden you hitting niggas up. Remember the defrost, hold up. All right, so you hitting niggas up like, yo, yo, what's good with that bread or something like that? And niggas like, yo, shit rough or shit tight. And you understand it, but you like, it fuck you up. Cause you be like, man, you just be like, fuck, I stay doing this, giving niggas shit, and nobody want to give you your shit back. But then you like, is it my character that niggas feel like I don't got to give it back to him because he got it? Or is it like, nigga, you waited this whole time, you ain't say nothing about it. But it's like, as your morals, niggas step up and say something. Like, I don't usually borrow, but when I do, I'm pretty sure I give it back. If I owe any motherfucker, let me know. Right? Well, I mean, I may spoke to someone, I owe my uncle $20, yeah. Well, yeah, I owe my uncle $20, but that's neither here or there. You know, we balanced it out with an edible, right? But I owe my uncle $20. But neither hell there. Niggas be owing bread, for real. And they'll think like it's, nah, cuz, like you be having, nah, niggas can't be doing that. And you don't have to give everything, but you give something, right? When a nigga start to call you who usually don't call you for no money, and they like, yo, see if you could throw me something or see if that, man, that's a sign of saying, nigga, I'm going to take it some type of way if you don't show no type of sign. I'm not just asking you, nigga. I'm asking you for a reason. So throw a nigga. If you owe a nigga 500, throw a nigga 100 or 50 if you if you come across it or if you work or this and that. I know it's tough times now because of corona and all this shit and niggas is unemployed or whatever the situation is. So I understand. But nigga, it ain't just tough for you. It may be tough for me too. I gave you money during this time. Nigga, I gave you money during this time, so what the fuck? I ain't just asking you to do me a favor. I'm asking for what's mine. There's a lot of niggas out there who will ask you. I mean, there's a lot of niggas you will ask for your shit back, and they make it seem like they're doing you a favor. Like, shit, I will see what I could do for you. Nah, nigga, you're not. You're going to do it because you owe me that. You're not doing me a favor. No, that's not a favor. No, you doing what you're supposed to do. Right? A favor would be giving me what you owe me plus more, right? Nigga, you not... Like, stop it. You not doing me a favor. Nigga, that's mine. That's like giving a nigga your coat. Right? <laughs> Hold up. Let me defrost my windows, right? But look. That's like giving a nigga your coat off your back, right? And then the nigga don't give you your coat back and you ask for your coat back because you cold now. And this is later, months later. And nigga like, you like, can I, can I get my coat? Nigga's like, I will see what I could do and shit. Maybe I could uh, fuck around. 
Nigga, what? Who you manip- Nigga, that's mine. Can I have my coat back, please? Like, that's how shit go. And I'm not specifically talking about nobody, but it came across my mom because my last video, I was like, niggas be pillow talking when they broke. Acting like they man's hating or acting like nigga old money. And it just made me think, like, let me talk about the broke topic. Like, is, is it wrong to ask for your money if you didn't ask for the shit in months? Like, can a nigga feel like you violating them? Like, nigga, you ain't asked for that money in three, four, five months, L. Now you asking for the money. Yeah, it's still yours, L, but come on, L. Like, I just supposed to have it when you pop up. Let me make some moves. Let me move shit around. All right, nigga, move shit around, but make it quick a little bit. Because I needed it this day, and you... What the fuck? We're not supposed to be waiting. When you move shit around, just move shit around. I don't think I... You, you moving out and then you moving into somewhere else and you changing shit around and decorating and going to get this, then we need to figure something out. So then niggas, niggas life and niggas priorities come first now. Now you just a nigga they owe, they priorities come first, but they forget you gave them the money to fix their priorities. Right? So a nigga think you taking out of his kid mouth, but yet when he borrowed the money, it was for his kid mouth. So... Why is niggas, why, and I ain't specifically talking about nobody, but niggas who know me know, I'm pretty sure niggas who know me who know me know how I am with bread. I give niggas bread, period. That's just my, that's my nature because in my life, I feel like how the fuck I even got money to begin with? Like, how? I don't even know. I be like, I don't even work hard. My life as a journey was hard, but nigga, I don't work hard. I'm running late to work, nigga. I'm just late that day. I'm not on the highway with road rage like, burn, burn. Get the fuck, burn. Niggas be on the highway late to their regular job, like hauling ass, like, then you don't need to be there. If they can't respect you enough to know you 10 minutes late for whatever reason, then that's that. And if you can't respect to take the consequences because you overslept, just better prepare yourself moving forward, then that's that. But niggas be hauling ass, I'm not that nigga. I'm not. I'm not that person. So I be thinking like, damn, God, you sure blessed me because how the fuck am I able to give niggas but yet I don't work hard But yet you call another nigga They working all day And they downing you For not working every day I, Nigga I filed taxes twice In my whole life That mean I only had a job twice A real job with, for the, And that was just last year Nigga and this year Yo I, I, Nigga I don't know what that mean I've been in college for 8-9 years Nigga in a college atmosphere Whether it was sleeping on couches Getting kicked out It took me fucking 9 years To get a degree Right It's better late than never nigga it took me nine fucking years, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with niggas, bro? It took me nine years. But the moral of the story is I got the shit, right? And like E.T. said, it, it, don't, it don't say that on your on your diploma. It don't say that on my degree. Hmm? Hit him with the ghillie face. It don't, it don't say that on my degree. Nigga, it say you graduated with a Bachelor's of Arts, nigga. And if I want to lie, I say a Master's. I go to these motherfucking jobs and I be like, yeah, I... I'm a double major. I got it in contemporary art and psychology. I took some courses. They don't even check for shit. I think one fucking job asked me for the diploma. So that's just a tip. You might could go to them bitches and say you got a master's. They ain't gonna fucking nigga. They don't even check. You just gotta say it. But don't let that go over your head. But I ain't trying to promote y'all to lie on y'all resume. But but the moral of the story is, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. But it took me nine years. Nine years to get a degree So I've been in that college atmosphere So that's why I only filed taxes twice Because I never was able to work the whole year round When I graduated high school I went straight off to college And I've been holding on to that shit There the longest Everybody who know me know Nigga, I've been on couches in niggas' rooms I watch niggas turn on Nigga, I've been in South Carolina I've been in North Nigga, I've been everywhere going to school, right? And it's nobody's fault. It was my fault. I didn't understand. And then my last school, my last whereabout was at Ramapo College, nigga. I did three, four years there just recently and graduated in 17. 2017. Nigga, a cop. I'm just grab my seatbelt. It's a trick. Just grab your seatbelt. Right? You're clamping. You, know, you just put that shit on your shoulder because they going to think. Yeah, right. There we go. We're going to go right past something real quick. This shit is annoying. What that mean? It ain't enough water hitting the window. All right, so look. Alright, so Like I was saying I've been in college for a long time, right? Trying to hold on because I thought I'd fail if I go back home type shit And I spoke about that in the past in another video But I was holding on, so I've been around that atmosphere And I finally got what I wanted And one thing I realized is when I went to an HBC 
in South Carolina, shout out to Island something, whatever. When I went to South Carolina and I was at an HBC, it was way harder to learn, right? That wasn't the culture with, with, with my niggas out there. We was dicing and shit. I'm in college dicing. What the fuck? I was in college dicing. Niggas trying to hold on to their hood when they in college. Like, nigga, I'm from Nook. Like, y'all got me fucked up or orange or whatever the fuck niggas say. I can't just say Nook because niggas in the orange feel some type of way. Like, nigga, my man told me that one day. He's like, yo, you keep claiming Nook. Nigga, but you with the high school at Orange for two, three years. Okay, nigga, I'm from North. What the fuck is you talking about? Nigga, I was grown as hell when I was Orange. But I never take nothing away from them niggas. I fuck with them niggas. Them my closest niggas is in the Orange. But, nigga, I'm from North. Don't you take that away from a nigga. A nigga from North don't want that taken away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nigga, I'm from North. Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. How many fishes do you wish? Nigga, I, I'm that nigga who did that. Playing in, a fo playing in the park, playing football. I wasn't a nigga in North sitting around in the house all day. I'm really from North, nigga. You better do your research, nigga. I really played in summer leagues, Green Acres, Kabooby League, with the Passion Avenue, went to Urban Taha, lived on Grove Street, hung with Crip niggas, hung with blood niggas. And I ain't boasting, I'm just saying. But I never been like a super gangster punching niggas in their mouth. But I could fight. Niggas know me, and I get bitches. Niggas know me, period. And I'm funny as fuck. Yeah, period. At least that's what I think of myself. I don't know what y'all thought of me. But I apologize if anybody, if I did anything negative to you in the past, but I'm a changed man now. I found God. I, I'm still rough around the edges, but nigga, you get the drift. But, like I said, I've been in that college atmosphere, and I only worked a little while. And the moral of the story is just saying this. You just gotta... Don't let niggas change your mind if it ain't for the better, right? Don't let them change your mind. Everybody used to tell me my mother was famous for this. Oh, you all over the place, Larry. Pick something and just do it. What? Life is way more dynamic than that. She like, nigga, you everywhere. You want one minute you working on Wall Street, which is a fact. Doing stocks and bonds. The next minute you building computers, which is a fact. The next minute you fucking in college trying to do a T, which is a fact. Like, now you a basketball coach in a high school, which is a fact. Now you talk about you want to do your CDLs and be doing trucking and shit, which is a fact. These are our facts. I'm not boasting and bragging, but these are facts. And she was telling me to pick one, and I'm like, Ma, I'm, I'm, I'm a jack of many, right? I'm a jack of many. Like, picking one, I feel like I'm settling, right? I could probably pick one girl, maybe even one car, maybe even one house. But to say pick one thing to do for a living is limited, right? Fuck is you talking about? Because it's the same job. Okay, I want to be a teacher. That's the same fucking curriculum in school that will drop you like a bad habit because you late. Because you came late three times and you only get two sick days, nigga, and you use them up. Now it's over. Now you hurt and depressed. Uh, the job don't give a fuck about you like you give a fuck about that job. Y'all niggas is fucking, y'all shitting y'all families and y'all loved ones for them jobs. Like, y'all niggas is missing key events for a job, but you acting like you doing a job for your family. I'm trying to feed the fam. Well, you don't come to nothing for the fam. You don't do because I'm out getting money, but you don't you don't give nobody nothing. You, who, who who benefits from you? You paying your rent, nigga. Who benefits from you? You paying your rent where you live at. You putting food in your stomach, niggas is eat. like you're not doing nothing specifically for nobody. But a nigga like me been blessed, so that's why I give my money. The whole moral of it was I give my money because where the fuck am I getting it from for a nigga who filed taxes twice? I don't sell drugs. I'm not cocking. I'm not doing nothing. But loving God, preaching about God, going through life trials and tribulations, and I'm not gonna take it away from myself because I do do shit. I worked in summer, summer camps and shit like that, but nigga, I ain't saving off of that. I've been getting blessed with little refund checks from college. I've been in there for nine fucking years. I don't know if that was a retirement plan. They was giving me money in a motherfucking refund. Refund check in college. We just gonna get this nigga five thousand, six thousand dollars back because he got the retirement plan, the veteran plan, uh, the social security plan in college, nigga. That's what I was getting in my in my shit. They was giving me the bread for that. Like he been in here for twenty years. But yeah, like it's it's back to the borrowing and shit. Like you know, if you borrow, man, and somebody fucks with you, it's a thought that count, man. Give a nigga back something or be clear with a nigga. Don't don't have don't let a nigga have that over you, right? Like, don't let a nigga have that over you. And, and when you let a nigga borrow, bro, understand that you may not get it back. So be mindful. And I got to learn that. And I'm learning that now. I'm actually going to exercise that right today. I will give a nigga something today. But instead of giving him what I would want, I will give him just a, just a, 
half lower than what I would want, right? Because I that's when you fuck up at giving niggas like I would want to get treated this way. So if a nigga, you know, a nigga don't got no money, you give a nigga, no, I would want a nigga to give me a hundred, not fifty. Like I ain't gonna do shit with fifty. But you get that man a hundred, the same outcome of what you would do, he won't do. You know, it's times I gave niggas money and they next you know you see them niggas on the ground, they bought their bitches a bottle, they stunting, they got forty dollars and shit. like what are you doing? I don't mind, I'm that type of nigga, you can do whatever with my money, you can go do that trick off, but you look real fucking dumb, nigga, and disrespectful to be doing that with the money I just gave you, because you gave me a, 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 a song and a dance, and I'm thinking it's to feed you and your kids, you tricking off with these bitches with the bread, you look stupid, don't ask me again, then you ask me again, and I gotta tell you no, now you shocked me shit, like yo, like yo, nah bro, no bro, get the fuck out of here, no, no, I'm not giving it to you. But I had to learn to say that shit. Sometimes you just gotta get mean, like, nah, bro, you still owe me bread. Like, nah, bro. Like, I'm not giving you more until you give me what you owe me. Like, it's hard, but fuck it. It is what it is, nigga. Like, that's how you gotta get. But the whole moral was just like, is it is it bad to, when you need it, now you asking for it? Or is it, like, understandable? Right? Because you give a nigga something and you don't ask for it for a year or two, now you popping up because you need it now. Niggas can take that disrespectful. Like, nigga, you ain't ass all year, but nigga, you ain't give it to me all year. You should've gave it to me, nigga. I wouldn't be at this point. You don't know if I wanted to ask or not. Nigga, I could have not asked because of your circumstances. But nigga, if you if I realize your circumstances may not be like what I think it is, and you may got money to buy Hennessy and money to do this and do that, nigga, well then give me my bread then, nigga. How about that, nigga? Give me my bread. But don't let that shit go over your head, man. Vent with Larry, bro. What the fuck?